Hello everybody, I'm Nistorm here, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the African campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, we kind of uh, worked on our justification with Guinea, uh, just kind of burning through time, getting some research done, improving our nation a little bit. Uh, we had to deal with more economic issues, we need to get rid of the stagnation. Uh, that sort of thing, which is unfortunate that, you know, like, housing bubble event keeps popping up. It's irritating. But, um, then we went ahead and we declared war on Guinea, and we have begun our campaign. So far, so good. So we're going to work on that. Uh, the other thing we did is we got our national focus done for naval effort. So we are actually... Building some ships. Some guided missile uh, cruisers. So I'll go ahead and get some of those. I think I actually I changed this so we're only gonna like order four. Um so we'll we'll get some of those. They're still old and obsolete, so I don't expect them to last very long in any real combat against any serious navies, but you know, it we gotta start somewhere. All right, so we need a new national focus before we go much further. And... We can't get any more research slots. Um, the doctrine efforts for ground doctrine aren't really that useful. Because uh, ground doctrines don't really seem to be much of a thing in this mod. Um... What we do want, I think I'm gonna go fighter focus for research bonuses for fighters. So we're gonna start that. All right, let's actually slow it down while we're at war a little bit. You yeah, are trying to get main battle tanks, which are 318 days away from our own main MBT designs. I tried to see if I could license something, but because of the um, the aggressiveness with which we've been dealing with our neighbors, uh, not a lot of people are willing to uh, license weapons to us, so we'll just have to deal. We did buy some tanks from China, so that should hopefully be helping. Let's go ahead and unpause it. Oh, and we actually did manage to get some of our own helicopters built, AH-64s. Apaches, licensed from the United States. So we actually have an Air Force now. Even though it is just helicopters. Uh, once we get another military factory, we should start making some actual fighters. It'll be F4 Phantoms. And hopefully Guinea gives us the factories we need to do that. They have a couple the military factories. Alright, so we're gonna win here. And yeah, it looks like that they are having a lot of trouble with their equipment. Uh, let me just check this out. Indonesian Civil War, 5,000 casualties on Indonesia's side, 54,000 casualties on the Caliphate side. That's not going their way. So, let's see, we've so far taken 117 losses and inflicted 1.5 thousand losses. And we have just about double their amount of field of manpower, even though the number of divisions we have is about the same. Because my divisions are much larger. I'm much better equipped. Alright. So we have an improvement in our, G our reserves. Alright, let's counterattack this guy. This organization is too low to advance. Really? 
Alright, these motorized guys should just stop attacking because they barely have any equipment. And they're just not useful to me right now. They're just gonna get a bunch of equipment that I don't have destroyed. Alright, combat should last for another 17 days here. We should be able to win. We won't almost ran that guy completely out of equipment. They're starting to reinforce. That means it's draining their reserves, which is good. Uh, Bissau, Guinean election, Jose Mario Vaz. Uh, Jose Mario Vaz. Re-elected. Okay. Oh, curse me. Check. Okay, yeah. No change in the United States. I, I'm assuming that it's going to tell me if any of the major players change heads of state. Alright, political power, we need to spend that. Actually, do I want to increase back to stable growth or do I want to stockpile to reduce corruption? Let's see, stable growth gives me. Well, it gets rid of this 15% construction speed penalty. Reducing corruption increases our stability. Increases our ID, ideology drift defense. Reduces the effectiveness of some foreign subversive activities. Increases our industry output. Improves our research time. So it may be worth just worrying about reducing corruption and not worrying about the economic growth right now. And the factories will get built when the factories get built. Did we just finish something? Let's see, this factory is going to be built on the 28th of July of next year. It'll take over a year to build that. They are putting up some resistance, but I think I could probably just ex continue to accelerate it. But things are going in my direction. Let's see. I lose a value due to low supply, terrain penalties. We aren't getting a bonus from air support. Ah, uh, because our... We only have one squadron, and that squadron right now is supporting this attack. Okay, now they're supporting both. actually pumping those out pretty quick. Uh, almost four a month. One a week. I guess that qualifies as pretty quick. Let's see, do I want to still kind of try to grind these guys, or do I want to try and... 
hit an attack there. If I could break these guys, I could cut these four divisions off completely. And that would be much better for me. Yeah, you probably don't want to be in there. It looks like that this battle is probably going to go my way sooner rather than later. Fighter focus is done. Aviation effort two. Gives me two air bases in coastal Ghana, or improves the air base in coastal Ghana, and a 50% research bonus for air doctrine. I will take that. Looks like they got reinforced. Alright, looks like a couple of divisions here retreated. Either that or were destroyed. Can't say for sure. They're down to 12 divisions, so yeah, they've actually lost. They've actually lost a few divisions. ATGMs. Alright, well. Sure, they're not going to be fully trained, but I need these men in the field, so we're going to push them out. They can get training on the front. Let's see, how's it go? We've lost 300 men. They have lost 5.4 thousand. So that's pretty lopsided numbers right there. All right. All right, I'm gonna tell them to defeat these guys and then just proceed on. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna get the, these guys down first. That's all right. You guys need to just kind of, kind of chill here. Alright, they decided to resume combat. So we've won that battle there. You guys attack there. And then proceed on. That truck sound effect is really, really loud. Kenya election, Uhuru Kenyatta re-elected. Alright, I want you guys to proceed all the way there. Except for you guys, you guys stop. Oh, well, they want to join in anyway. Looks like they are retreating. Actually, you guys change direction. Head this way. Let's head for the capital.
of these guys swing there. You guys actually... Can we pin them down? Yeah, keep them pinned down. Alright. Indonesia took nine states. The Caliphate of Indonesia was annexed. Alright. The Indonesian Civil War is now over. Utility vehicle 1975 is done. Let's get utility vehicle 1985. We aren't even actually making them yet. Have we, act, have we captured any of their... Yes, we have captured their military factories. And so we're now we're making almost nine phantoms per year. I'm guessing we probably don't even have one yet. Plus 0 0.02 per day. Or is that per week? Yeah, per day. Aviation effort 2. Is it done? Um, rocket effort? Rocketry technology and jet technology, which... I think these are just copy-pasted from... Um, the base game. So I don't think we even have anything such as rocket tech or jet tech. Light strike fighters. Transports. Yeah. Launch attack on their capital. We should win fairly quickly. You jump into that. Yeah, they're never going to keep them pinned down. But they might keep them pinned down long enough for us to win here. Looks like that they are. Alright. Let's take you. Throw you over there. Let's take you and throw you over there. And let's take you and tell you to stop. Capital's fallen, and the war is over. Take all states. Done and done. All right. Yeah, everybody's getting a lot of really good training. These are veteran units. Even the new guys we just pushed out are up the train level already. Yep, we have battle hardened soldiers. Alright, so. 
decision time, as far as the military is concerned. Do we go after Sierra Leone and Liberia? Liberia? They would give me six civilian factories. Liberia would give me five civilian factories. No military. They have two divisions. They have three divisions. You'll be able to steamroll them pretty quick. Uh, they have non-aggression packs with Somalia and the United States. Um, I'm not sure. I think what we'll do for now is we'll move all of our troops to the Nigerian border. We do kind of need some infrastructure, don't we? Alright, we're to 260 political power. We need 300 to change the level of corruption. Wow, we lost a lot of our small arms. And, uh, well, we're almost to, uh, Matt, at least as high a production efficiency as we can get. Somaliander election, Ahmed M. Muhammad? Solano, Solano was re-elected. All right, now we're up to making 1.05 phantoms per month. So that means we actually have two of them. Let's set up a squadron. All right, you guys move over here. Put you in the Nigerian theater. And... Let's see. Let's make a squadron... 50 big. Actually, let's just, just say 100 big. Put that there. Same thing with this squadron. We'll, we'll bump that up to 100. And you can say, oh, actually, they're fairly short range. Let's move them up to the front there. Air superiority and interception. All right. It gives 50 political power. You know what? I will take the political power. That actually cost me some political power to start. Oh, there's the massive industrial investments. We need to take that as well. Yeah, we're not going to be doing any more war until we recover our small arms at the very least. We're just going to take 160 days and build up a bit of a stockpile. Now, we're not taking any attrition here, right? No. Alright, there we are. So let's go ahead and switch to syst uh, systematic corruption.
right, we continue to build up a reserve. We're up to 100% of GDP. Now, is there any benefit? Let's see, tax cost is 4%. Tax cost is 4%. Let's see where. 4% minus 4%. Okay, so by increasing our spending, we reduce our tax costs. So basically, we're like cutting taxes. Um, but right now, our tax cost is 3%. I would, you know, 14%, so... I, I don't think it would even affect us at this point. I, I don't, I can't do the numbers in my head. I'd have to calculate it out somehow. Construction speed is minus 37%. 15% due to stagnation, and we might want to fix that, actually. Our GDP per capita is reducing it, which will just improve over time. Volunteer service for women is at minus 3%. Alright, we have new doctrine here. Let's go ahead and take the terminal attack controllers. We had that bonus. Let's go for it. 336 days, even with a 50% bonus. Yikes. See, military policies. I haven't even looked at these yet. Volunteer service. Critical population. Let's see, we can do a partial draft. Division. Recovery rate plus 10%. Organization plus 10%. Special force capacity multiplier plus 50%. Division attack on core territory. Division defense on core territory. Training time. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. I think we could probably stay on volunteer service. We have plenty of manpower in the pool. Let's see. Volunteer service for women. Monthly population minus 5%. Construction speed minus 3%. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier minus 5%. Mandatory service makes all of those situations worse. Prohibited service means we don't have any of those mo negative modifiers. Recruitment population, 0.4%. It does increase how much manpower we have. Uh, you know what? We'll keep it at that level. We'll let women serve in the military if they want. Um... Let's do the massive industrial investments. Is that still only one civilian factory? Yeah, it is. I'll still take the civilian factory. Thirty-three days till we get our first main battle tank designs. These are old Cold War level designs. But, you know, they're better than nothing. Zimbabwe has joined the Eurasian Union. Really? That's a bit irritating. 
But we were going to have to fight that anyway. For South Africa. So we're probably going to have to try to absorb like most of Central Africa. Um, probably even all of this before we go after those guys because we're going to have to fight Russia to do it. Which means we're going to need a sizable air force, a large navy, all kinds of stuff. Hey, hey, we have a ship. We have a ship. We'll call this the uh, home fleet. I need a class name for this ship. Hmm. I don't know. I think it, I had to think about it. Maybe look up what uh, current ships the Ghanaian Navy, the Ghana Navy actually has. So I know that they actually do have some ships, uh, mostly patrol vessels and like fast attack boats. I did look that up at one point. Just because I was curious. I'll put together a battle plan. This is actually a proper capital ship. All right, 1985 artillery is done, and our main battle tanks. All right. 698 days without any research bonuses. Infantry fighting vehicles. Self-propelled artillery. I think we should probably try and improve what we currently are making. All right, so artillery. Nope, 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 wrong thing, wrong thing. Artillery, there we are. So we should probably try to improve our artillery. Let's see, fire control, very propellant charge. Let's grab both of those. We're gonna get our own attack helicopter designs in 82 days. I don't think they're gonna be better than the Apaches at, you know, certainly not. I mean, they probably Maybe about the equivalent to a Cobra? Alright, well. We're probably going to have to end this episode here because we're at time. So, we will continue to work on trying to improve things. Actually, we're already almost up to enough to get rid or to switch over to stable growth. Um, we can intentionally send ourselves into a recession for some reason. Um, economic boom. All right, well, as I say, we'll go ahead and end this episode here. We will start working on 
something else when we get back. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.